Hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my God, Stardew's blasting in my ear. Oh, there we go. Hi, friends. How are we today? How are we? Hi from Spain, hello. Happy Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday. Thank you, Lumberjack Hamster. I can't hear the alerts. Shooty shoot shoot. Shoot shoot shoot. Hold on a sec. Okay. There we go. Now I hear him. There we go. Hello, Chris Note. Hello, Galaxy. Hi, Ari Bubble. Hi, Olive. Hi, Haley. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you for the closed caption reminder. Thank you, thank you. Doing that now. Doing that now. Doing that now. Okay, it should be working. Hi, Chris No. I think I already said that. Hi, Chris No. Hi, Simply Sasha. Feeling great love, you birthday week girl. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, thank you, Wisteria. Hello, Cara. Hello, baby. Hello, Momo. Hello, Lunar. Hello, Cleo. Hello. Someone said, "Oh, Cara said thank you for telling me about the sleep timers." Yay! Of course. Hi, y'all. Hey, poop buddies. If you're wondering what I'm reading, Maze Runner book two. Oh, fun, 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 fun. I never read those. Nintendo Switch 2 has been rumored, yeah. Nothing concrete, but I do feel like it's coming. I feel like whenever something is like fully out in the world rumored with, hi, Simply Bookish, hi, Christine, with um, Nintendo, it always is, is true. Like they don't let things slip out like that, you know? Hi, Caffeinated. Hi, PB and Scout. See you, Chris. Thank you for the follow. Lumberjack, hello. 28. I know, guys. I'm 28 now. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Birthdays are so weird in your 20s. Hi, Brittany. They don't feel like anything. <laughs> I think, like, post-25, post after your prefrontal lobe, uh, you know, fully forms, birthdays don't feel like anything. But it's still fun. Ambergy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the 28 Club Vesti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I did, Liz. I did. I've been excited about that for a minute. I'm so excited. But the new gameplay reveal of it, honestly, that gives me so much hope for, um, we're talking about Tales of the Shire, if anybody doesn't know. It gives me so much hope for the game because I, f at first I was like, I feel like they're just going to do like a point and click, like kind of narrative game, which would be fun. It would be fun. I would still love that. But I really wanted something like that you can explore in at least a little bit, at least a little bit. So the gameplay little teaser did give me some hope. Mm. 28 Club in November. Yes. Follow you on other platforms and have no idea you're on Twitch. Yay, hello! Hi, hi. I always forget that I'm 28. I Truly, I forget my age all the time. I feel that. Wait, you turned 28 yesterday? That sounds lovely, reading all day. Marty, we are two days apart. We're like almost birthday twins. <gasps> That's so exciting. Happy, happy belated birthday to you, Christine. Hey. <laughs> I know your title says Stardew and your category says Stardew and you're playing Stardew, but like lethal? <laughs> Hi, puppy. <laughs> I'm sorry, no lethal. Puppy, we can play lethal outside of stream. How about that? <laughs> lethal in, in stream would just be blowing everybody's eardrums off. <laughs> shot my shot. Hey, I respect it. I respect it. You got to do it. That's, that's Alyssa every day. <laughs> Literally message me anytime. Okay. All right. We got to get gang back together, puppy. <laughs> you turned 24 yesterday <laughs> happy belated there's so many march march birthdays in this community you turn 23 next wednesday but i feel way older <laughs> i feel that any fantasy books you recommend for my age 15 Ooh, fantasy book probably like hunger games i feel if you haven't i'm sure you've read hunger games 
but I love I love Hunger Games. I guess is Hunger Games fantasy? Yes, it is fantasy, right? Dystopian fantasy. She's got a very uncozy speeding ticket. No, <laughs> no. Happy birthday to all the Marsh besties. Yes. How do I post on the show and tell? It's in our little Discord in the in the show and tell channel. So many areas in the community, right? Spicy. I guess that makes sense. Like attracts like. Hello. Hi, Julia. All the Aries and Pisces grouping together and sharing the love. Yes. What's the sign that comes after Aries? What's what's the um April, April, May? Is that Taurus? It goes Aquarius, Pisces, Aries. Tor Taurus? It is Taurus? Okay. Whoa. Look at me knowing stuff. Hey yo. Woo woo woo. <laughs> Taurus, one of the best, but I am biased. Tauruses are pretty cool. I do love a good Taurus. I think. <laughs> uh, what TV shows have you been watching? Oh my god, you guys! We we've been watching Vanderpump like religiously since. Watch your profanity. <laughs> Watch your profanity. Oh, thank you, Haley. Um religiously since like i can't even remember actually i think before we moved we started it before we moved and we finally 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 caught up to i hear that show rules listen it's fire you guys it's fire it's one of those reality shows that like even if you are not a reality show fan you will love it um it's we finally caught up so we're now like we just hit last night we just hit the ep this episode that's going on currently and we kind of had like a, a sad moment about it we're kind of like oh my god it's over the vanderpump binging's over it's crazy it's wild but um scandal was truly a shock to my core i i i I have no words. We avoided all the spoilers about Scandival, so it hit like a brick when we were watching it. It was wild. It's so good. My GF is obsessed with that show as well. You guys, it's good. It's so good. I'm telling you, like, I'm not usually a reality show person, and I wish that I was because I feel like reality shows are so, ex just so much happening, you know? And there's so many seasons, you could just like binge and binge. But I'm not usually a reality show person. And Vanderpump gets you in it. Yeah, it was wild. It was wild. Is it on Netflix? It's on Peacock, which kind of sucks. But it's on Peacock. There's like nothing really else on Peacock <laughs> except all the Bravo channels. And what else is on Peacock? I don't know. I don't even know. But yeah, it's on Peacock. I've been binge watching your YouTube. Aw, Beth. I know so much about the Bravo <laughs> universe <laughs> against my will. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, the season is rough. It's just like it's kind of depressing just watching the the fallout after uh Scandival. Like it's kind of watching it's depressing just watching Sandoval live his life <laughs> and the consequences of his actions. Vampire Diaries is on Peacock. Oh, I've been wanting to watch that. Thank you, Verdi, for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Have you been to the restaurant, sir? I've been there oh no i haven't been there twice i went to tom tom twice i've been to sir once um and we saw guillermo there and then we went to okay we went to tom tom twice and we saw max uh lisa's son there twice and i think that's it we haven't been to schwartz and sandy's and we haven't been to jack's jackson britney's place yet I made a Twitch account just to say hi, you're my comfort YouTuber. Oh my gosh, hello, Jenny. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, I appreciate it. The Call Her Daddy episode about the scandal is so good. Oh, I have to listen to it. I never listened to Call Her Daddy. I've got to listen. All right, y'all. It's time. Actually, first it's time to rate our weeks. Let's rate our weeks. Let's do it. Let's do it. I had, this is a tricky one for me, y'all. This was a tricky one for me. Because it was my birthday. And I had a good birthday. But I also, like, had to work on my birthday. As most people do. And I tried to, I tried to like, work more the day before. So that I wouldn't have to work on my birthday. But I did. And I did end up still having to work. Um, 
and your birthday was good but then i also it's it's a lot of like it's a lot of like this was really good but then this would like kind of pulled it this way you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna rate it at 7 out of 10 a 7 out of 10 that feels right that feels right with my spirit that's sitting right <laughs> ariana needs to chill she kind of does she needs to chill just a little bit she and tom's relationship started as an affair when tom cheated on Kristen. i know i do kind of feel you like it it was it was a big no-no big oopsie doopsie but ryan and i were like what other cheating scandal has had this many consequences for the person who cheated like i can't think of a single other cheating scandal that like truly affected that person's life to where they like cannot have a life anymore like it would it is crazy like he i feel like he deserved what he had coming but also i feel like he got he got everything he deserved i feel like anything more is like all right <laughs> let's you know what i mean like he it's not like it's not like he had like there were children in the mix or like legal marriage you know like it's bad it's terrible but i th i think i don't i don't know it's 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 kind of crazy how the how everything the show kind of blows it up are we talking vanderpump we're talking vanderpump yeah yep 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 he deserved it because of how hard he ripped into people when they're having i agree he i mean so for sure for that. sure he deserves everything he got, but I think at this point, it's like, okay, all right, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't feel bad for him, but I like comparing it to any other situation, especially even on the show, there were so many people who cheated. It's just like, why are we, I don't know. Yeah. Thank you for the bits. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. I, I skipped over the week, the week rating. Let's go. Um, seven and a half out of 10. Okay. I'll switch over to Twitch. Hey, seven and a half out of ten. Had a three week, but got some sleep. Woke up, so seven. Okay, six out of ten. Glad there's a four day weekend for me in the. Ooh, four day weekend is nice. Five out of ten. I mostly just worked. Two out of ten. Tough week. A lot of housework, guilt, and stress for my family members. And oh, I'm sorry, Cleo. Same here. My week was a mixed bag. Average to seven out of ten. Huge reorg at work, but I looked. Oh, booked a cruise. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Um, three. I had a pets emergency nurse training in the morning, and I had to switch and go back to night shifts this week. Oh no! Hi, Ken. How are you? Eight out of ten. I had a sleepover Tuesday, Wednesday. That sounds really fun. Six out of ten because work. We're t oh, I already read that. Yes, we're talking Vanderpump. Um. Solid two, no. Seven out of ten. We got a four. Ten out of ten. Congrats on the race. Congrats. Um, nine out of ten. Okay, five out of ten. Five out of ten. All right, all right, all right, all right. YouTube peeps, how we doing? How we doing on the weeks? Yeah, seven out of ten. You guys, yesterday I did. I can't. I don't. I don't think I could talk about it at all until later. But I did like a full commercial shoot. And it was crazy, like a full, com like an actual commercial, like a, co like a commercial. I know. Wild, 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 wild. Um, so like, I'm kind of like drained and tired from it. Cause it was like a full day, but it was such a cool experience. And I was like looking around, just taking it all in. Like, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll ever get to do, I won't say probably, I won't, I won't speak that into existence, but like. I don't know if I'll ever get to do this again. So I'm truly just like taking this in and appreciating it. Like after I filmed all my parts, um, there's like another girl in the commercial also. And I was just sitting there like, you can go. And I was like, no, I'm just going to sit and watch. And I just sat there and I watched the whole thing for like the whole day. Cause I was just, I was like, this is so cool. Like, this is just so cool. Um, so yeah, that was yesterday. It was really, really cool. A commercial, I know. I know. Taco, I wish. <laughs> I wish. It wasn't it wasn't a f it wasn't food related, but if it was food related, Taco Bell would be my dream. You guys, I'm manifesting a Taco Bell commercial. I'm manifesting. You know those ones that that they have like they they're like picking up a thing and then and there's like pictures, there's like moving pictures of them like 
It's like a little slideshow of them eating a burrito. Please, Taco Bell. I can do it. I can look. I can. I can eat a burrito so good. I can make it look so fun. <laughs> uh, let's manifest, guys. If you're not in a nacho fries or back out in the future, we're not living in the right timeline. I know. <laughs> You'd be the perfect Taco Bell ambassador. I know. The commercial's just sitting me down, like, intervention style. So, Kennedy, why do you eat Taco Bell two times a week? Please talk us through it. <laughs> Beth, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Patties. It was really fun. It was like a fun birthday. Um, birthday present was like getting to do this really cool experience basically i'm debating finishing the birth, birth first book of school for evil. oh yeah i've heard that's good i'm just saying you need to be a talk about influencer girly i know you guys i want to be their ambassador i want to like run their social media page <laughs> uh i need a chalupa stat <laughs> okay but when we can when can we see it i think in may in may it's gonna be on like hulu desktop and crunchyroll desktop and i think youtube i don't know if youtube desktop or youtube everywhere but keep your eyes peeled if i ever see it i mean well we could like watch it we could do a little a little premiere we could do a little premiere when it comes out because i'm sure they'll send it to me can is it an anime no <laughs> nar gonna have to turn off my ads <laughs> siren you don't want to see my face constantly <laughs> no it's so exciting though i'm excited i love baja blast from taco bell but they took my favorite food away quesarito they did uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Four and a half, just trying to crawl out of burnout. Christine, I feel you, Christine. Sending my my love, sending my energy towards you, hopefully. Seven out of ten, everyone in my household is sick but me. Oh no, I hope you don't get sick. Talk about commercial will be on brand. I literally found this channel today, picked up my Switch this afternoon. Can't wait to play. Yay! Sammy! I'm so glad you're here. I love the quesarito. Is the quesarito the one that's like it's basically a burrito, but it's wrapped in another layer of burrito, of tortilla, and there's cheese in the middle of those two. Is that a quesarito? Hi, Rare Rudy. Hello. You've only just got Taco Bell in the last two years. Oh, my God. Oh, that. Wait, how, how do they get rid of a quesarito? That's like a classic. How do they get rid of that? There's no way they got rid of quesarito. Is it regional? There's no way they got rid of quesarito. Hmm. You cried actual tears? I would. What the heck? Oh my god. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to eat. But I'm doing it now. Talk about in the UK isn't great. I've heard. I've heard. A lot of the fast food in the UK is not great that I've tried because they don't put like poison in their fast food. And the poison is what makes all the flavor happen. Yeah. <laughs> perfect timing huh <laughs> i missed the first 20 minutes of this it's okay La we laugh we were just talking about taco bell the whole time basically <laughs> i missed the tostadas they had tostadas i don't remember them having tostadas let's do um show and tell you guys because i already know my energy levels are very low from yesterday so um I, I always say this and then i end up streaming for the same amount of time but just in case i don't know if i could stream for as long as usual today um so we gotta we gotta get to it we gotta get get to it okay i want talk about so bad now i know i know every time we talk about taco bell it's like everybody orders taco bell i was hunting for red 40 in my last trip to uk <laughs> The red 40 adds all the spice. I'm telling you, it's the secret sauce. <laughs> you had Taco Bell last night. I actually, I think it's been the longest, the longest it's been since I've had Taco Bell. This has been my longest stretch. And I think it's been a week and a half. 
Actually, no, I think it's been... No, it's been a week. Wait, no, I had it last Friday. <laughs> Wait. I had it last Friday. <laughs> Okay, never mind, never mind. Anytime I think that, it's really, it, it's never been less than a week, truly. <laughs> not, not that you're counting. <laughs> uh, you haven't had Taco Bell since fifth grade? Oh, I'm so sad. Holly, thank you for the sub. Thank you for 10 months. I have the new Taco Bell chicken tacos with the like, the, the, the kind of squishy bread thing. That's the one I've tried lately, and it's really good. Okay, y'all. Black Widow. Hold on, let me make sure. Stop it. Okay. Black Widow said, okay, I need help. These are also cute. I can't choose which one. Help me choose. Emotional support nuggets, mushrooms, fries, chickies, or dumplings. For anyone who can't choose, here's the Amazon link. These are so cute. I think, personally, oh, God, this is hard. I would say emotional support nuggets because I love the little, the like overall aesthetic of it is, is really cutesy. It's real cutesy. Like the little checkered paper in the basket and then the like red basket. And it's just, it's just cute. I like it. I'm a fan. I vote for nuggets. Nuggies. We got a lot of nuggies. We got a lot of nuggies in chat. Finally caught one. Haven't been able to since the tears of the... Oh, no! Caitlin, I'm glad you're here. We've got some dumplings, and we've got mostly nuggies. I've almost gotten the dumplings. I love I, I love that it actually just says emotional support. <laughs> emotional support nuggies is so cute. All right. Everyone put in their final answers. We got a lot of nuggies and some dumplings thrown in there. All right. I hope that helped. Black Widow. I hope that helped. <laughs> I didn't realize this channel existed till I watched stream. Oh, yay. I posted this in the Pigs channel, but I'd love to share my cozy setup on stream. I'm super proud of it. It's beautiful, Chels. It's so cute. I love it. I love the nano leaves. I love the color scheme. I love the, the like, mix of the practical storage and cute decor and the desk Seeing that number steadily approach three years is pretty wacky i tell you what and it is pretty wacky that is pretty wacky friend hello hello eddie how are you the colors are so beautiful aren't they i love it that's beautiful chels i hope you're watching this on the vods in the future future chels we all love it. This is a beautiful setup. You did such a good job. We're all proud of you. Next, oh, we got Mark set up. The way I knew this is Mark set up without even looking who posted it, I was like, that's Mark set up. <laughs> Mark, I love your setup. It's so cool. I love the little L-shaped desk. I love how you have the little, little PS4 right next to the PC. Oh, and, and the Steam Deck. He said, get, get your money up, not your funny up. That's what Mark said. He said two PC setup with a Steam Deck and a PS. What is that? A PS5. That's a PS5. Oh, my gosh. Mark, stunting on everybody. <laughs> That's a PS5, by the way. Thank you, CEO. <laughs> thank you. Leafy, thank you for the follow. Jealous of that setup, right? I adore this setup way too much. Mark, you did such a good job. Also, like, watching Mark grow his setup over time was so rewarding. I remember when it was, like, one desk and I don't even... Was it a PC? I think it was, like, one desk, one PC. Definitely a different monitor. I don't know. It's rewarding. Good job, Mark. We're proud of you. <laughs> Get your money up. I found you on Instagram. So excited. Hi, Leafy. Hey, Leafy. Had a cute little cherry blossom picnic this weekend. Cute. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at all the snacks. Oh my gosh, you guys. The snacks. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta, I gotta move it over so you can see. Look at the snacks. Oh, the little matcha little wafer thingies. Oh, also the, the, the picnic basket is so cute. Oh, I love it. And the cherry blossoms are beautiful. Oh, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
this this picture is sending me. <laughs> oh my god, Keish! Hi, Keish. How are you, my love? This picture, you guys. Me with my Taco Bell. Me when me me when 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 you when you when when me when I when when me and Taco Bell and me and that's me. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. It's always been my dream to have a picnic by cherry blossoms. That's so cute. When I'm at my grandma's house, my dog sometimes goes and sits on the balcony and loves watching the street and people who pass by. Also, I was rewatching a Bugs Life and I remembered how freaking cute Heimlich is. Look at the way he holds his little candy corn. <laughs> he really is cute. I love these two random, like, <laughs> the two completely unrelated things next to each other is killing me. <laughs> Have you had a <laughs> Ken in the commercial? Literally. This is me in the commercial. Talk about commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it just pans over to me. I'm just <laughs> holding my grilled cheese burrito. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Noko Poco, for sharing. I sadly didn't see them this year because of work, and every time I'm free, it's raining. Oh. Yes, y'all, go follow Keish. Keish has the coziest stream ever. Kim, she lost her first baby tooth. Oh, baby. Look at it. It's so little. He's such a little <laughs> why is this like the saddest picture ever kim she's like my tooth <laughs> my tooth <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> this is a renaissance painting this is like a series of renaissance paintings <laughs> uh, not taking photos of the inside for spoiler reasons but just finished my dnd notebook for this service campaign <gasps> It's customized for my character, Pink and Floral. Oh, that's so exciting. Wait, you guys, that's so exciting. Can I like eavesdrop on your guys' sessions? Can I come lurk on your guys' sessions? Please. Can I come? Can I? Can I come? Can I come? Please, can I come? <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. I love it. I love a little organized D&D situation i need to i need to i need to stop saying i need to do something because i never do it <laughs> decorating my xbox controller that i use for pc gaming today the stickers are subtly holographic wait that's so cute <gasps> cute i love it oh that's adorable i love the little rainbow on the bottom too that's so cute oh the tulip i just noticed the tulip Oh, that's so cute. I love Selena. I love. I don't think I ever shared my play date here in the old show and tell. <gasps> that's so fun. I love how like funky and fun this thing is. It just looks like like it looks like it's not real. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> Has have the games been fun? Do you feel like it's worth it? I had FOMO, so I had to come see everyone. Aw, Meg. Hi, Meg. Hello. How do I join the Discord? Press that link. Go into rules. Press the heart on the rules message, and then you're good to go. It's been a blast so far. I think it's worth it for sure. There are so many devs making games just for the console. That's so cool. And you get 24 games with a console. It's pretty worth it. Oh, that's fun. I love, I just love the look of it. It's so cool. It's so clean, clean and funky. I love it. Thank you guys. The, 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 the play date gets the foot, gets the footnote today. That was a great, a great show and tell today. Such a good variety per use. Y'all are great at the variety. The crank mechanic is really goofy, but surprisingly intuitive. It's good stuff. That does sound like it would add a lot of fun, like little elements to it. Alyssa's here. Hi, Alyssa. We uh we just we're getting started right now on this on the do. On the do do. That's amazing, and it fits in a purse compared to switch, right? Hello. Hello. You guys follow Alyssa. Follow Alyssa. I want to play D&D, but I don't know any friends that would want to play with me, so I play Wildermyth. Ooh, is Wildermyth like a solo dealio? Poofy cozy games. Poofy cozy games. Poofy cozy games. 
poopy cozy games. <laughs> uh, wait, 31 months, Alyssa. What the heck? Alyssa, why? Huh? How have you been around for that long? Get out of here. <laughs> That's actually crazy. That's a long time. I'm always here. <laughs> Why is Alyssa VIP? That's a great question. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> they just updated something in Stardew that has been something I've always wanted. I couldn't be happier. Wait, is it the first one? I saw something on the very first one that I was like, that should have been a thing. But now I can't remember what it was. Let me look on the... Let me look on the tweet. It's it wasn't a it wasn't spoilery. It was just like Clint's. It was Clint's. Oh my god, you guys in the in the one point six point three is it one point six point three? Whatever the newest uh, update. Yeah, one point six point three. You can actually go to Clint's shop. Yes, while your tools are getting tooled, while your tools are getting upgraded, you can go to Clint's. Oh my god. It that always didn't it didn't make any sense. It didn't make any sense. And so I am ecstatic. There's a hot Clint mod. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna switch over. Um, I don't know how I feel about a hot Clint mod because Clint is an unredeemable character, regardless of appearance to me. <laughs> so <laughs> wait, unrede ir irredeemable? What's the word? What's the crit friends? Smart friends, irredeemable? A Starion mod is the hot mod. <laughs> I literally oh. looked for one the other day. Erica! <laughs> Non-redeemable. <laughs> hot as in he has a complete personality change? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Is that the hot part? That he's a different character altogether? <laughs> That's the only thing that would work for me. <laughs> huh? <laughs> All right. Oh wait, did I do co-op? I didn't mean to do co-op. Sorry, Alyssa. I will say though, Alyssa and I have been grinding on our farm. Y'all want to see? Hold on. We've been grinding. We are. We are. We are two grinders in a pod. Okay. Fans of romancing Haley might enjoy him more though. She <laughs> intended. Damn. <laughs> uh, I'm doing chores before Zelda. Bye, Alyssa. That our stream baby is so big. Now our stream baby is huge. Yeah, so true. Bye bye. Have fun with Zelda. Look, look, look. We're on day 19 of summer. And, and, wait, I don't want to show them the farm. It'll be a surprise tomorrow. I mean, on Sunday. Oh, tomorrow? What, what, what day do I think it is? It'll be a surprise on Sunday because it's so pretty. It's it's so advanced. But we've been grinding. We have 7,000 gold. We're on day 19 of summer. We've caught so many fishies. We've yearned so hard in the mines. I'm so proud of us. Wait, are we telling them surprises we discovered or is that secret? That is secret till Sunday. We'll talk about it Sunday. I think I don't know. I, I I probably will accidentally talk about it today, so that actually doesn't matter. We could talk about it. <laughs> I definitely will will accidentally talk about it. <laughs> Cozy girl stuff. Hello. It doesn't have dice though, but it has a randomly generated story. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Fine, yes. Uh, okay. So we're we're on our solo playthrough, I suppose. Ash pose. Which one is mine? Now I forget. Barley, not cat farm. Junimo farm? Yes. Wait, was I Junimo? I wasn't cat. Cat was one I pulled up from a long time ago. Was it poopy pee pee farm? No, it was, it was, it was Junimo farm. Was it? I don't know, you guys. The multiple poopy farms, I know. <laughs> Have you had the special rain yet? We have. Alyssa and I, that was, that was one of the, the, the secrets that we were going to talk about Sunday, but we did have special rain and we were freaking out and running around and so scared. <laughs> so seriously asking, was it poo-poo, pee-pee? 
Oh, yay, Courtney Mines. You install the mod and he's just gone. Literally, <laughs> literally, Christine. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, y'all. I think this was the one we were doing. Yes, yeah, 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 cause I have my chickies. I got my chickies. Yay. Okay, I do have some mods installed. Who, what are my, ch oopsies, what are my, Scrappy? Scrappy and Buster. See, everybody had, everybody had really cute chicken names, starter chicken names as starters. They had like, Dewdrop and like whatever. And mine, I feel like are just so fitting for me. Scrappy and Buster, like, thank you. Thank you, uh, randomization mechanisms for giving me such a appropriate <laughs> chicken name. Scrappy and Buster. You literally got two cartoon dogs. <laughs> literally. Potatoes and gravy? That's so good. That's so good. I love. Oh! Bring it back. Bring it back. Okay. I'm now, I'm so thrown off because I'm so much farther behind than Alyssa and me and Alyssa's playthrough. Pumpkin and squash. See, that's so cute. <laughs> you should name one taco and the other bell. I will absolutely do that with any future animals I get. <laughs> Two very different kinds of stupid names. <laughs> Beluga and Misty. <laughs> that's amazing. We already have our cat and everything. Tomorrow's the egg festival. Okay. Doo doo's bowl. Aw, oh, doo doo. I'm gonna water first and foremost. And then I'm gonna make sure that my cheats are cheating, right? And then. That's all I got for you, actually. Can y'all hear? I don't think y'all can hear good. Hold on one sec. There we go. I mean, no wonder you're so confused you named your other farm Poopy and your cat <laughs> Doo Doo. It's actually D-E-W, D-E-W. Eddie, come on. As a Doo Doo head yourself. I, 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 I expected you to, to, you know, be on the same page here. <laughs> I have to automate open gates. Oh, yes. Same. Same, same, same. It's literally one of my favorites. Watch. Boop. No hands. No hands. Boop. 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 The best mod. My name in Paleo is DD Mega Dude. <laughs> As the namer of Dudu Heads. Exactly. Exactly. It's okay. The doo doo heads forgive you. Ken, what have you been doing with the time you got back from Stardew Playthrough resting, I hope? Um. <laughs> yeah! Definitely resting. I love to rest. And I do it so naturally and all the time. And when I get time back in my, in my day, I rest. For sure. <laughs> Erica! <laughs> deep, deep in the Taco Bell app. Uh, RIP to the quesarito. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> How's that burnout healing going? It's going really well, you guys. I will say though, I feel like I do have one week one night a week at least where I can actually play games. Like Alyssa and I f have been playing Stardew like, well, I don't know, t once or twice a week. So I feel like that's kind of, that's, that's something. That's something you guys. That is something. Also this farm is the first time I've ever used a well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm loving the well. I think I used a well for the beach farm because the water, shockingly, the, the beach water was too far in a beach farm, you would think. 
Yeah, I made it. Time to clean and enjoy. Hi, Erica. I feel like you're really zoomed out. Am I? I feel like I zoomed in. I do kind of feel that though. How's that? How's that, CL? Okay, did we remix the community center bundles? I don't think we did. Did we? <sighs> I don't know. I think we did. Taco Bell's my fave, yeah. <laughs> you should make the room bigger though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, wait, I already said that. I got my 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 animal my new Animal Crossing copy in. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it and we're doing it big. And no one can stop me. I'm I'm in my like 20 2020-ish era of video games back on my Stardew shit, okay? Back on my Animal Crossing BS. I'm back. We're so, we're no, so back. Stuff. We're so back. Lumberjack, thank you for the bits. Thank you. We're romanticizing early pandemic days. I am romanticizing early pandemic games. <laughs> okay, do I have spring crops? Okay, I didn't remix. I did not remix besties. So we just need the regular degular. Five gold crops. Concerned aid really brought us back to what matters. Truly. So true. So real. Am I ready for the egg hunt? I don't think I am. I don't think I am. But it's okay. We persist. I still want Hanja. Don't talk to me. <laughs> what? Don't talk to me about Haunted Chocolatier. It does not exist. It doesn't exist until it exists. <laughs> Should I get more parsnips? I'm gonna get more parsnips. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Did I talk to everybody? Oh, I could do some yearning. Let's yearn. You think Abigail's worse than Haley? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. CO, I don't feel like your priorities are straight here. What? You think Abigail's worse than Haley? I know the Taco Bell digs when you hit order. It's my favorite part. It's my favorite part. I love it. <laughs> There's no bachelor at worse than Haley. I agree. I'm in full agreement. Where's the Abigail hate coming from? Where? Help me understand. Help me understand. What am I doing? Craft. Craft, girl, craft. Come on. Don't know why I did so many fertilizers. Only got six seeds, that's okay. Not to worry. All right. Should have got one more seed. Yeah. She's rude the first time you talk to her. Is she? I don't feel like she is rude. I feel like she just chats, chats about something going on in her life, no? I don't feel like she's rude. What does she say? She would rather you be homeless so she can continue to explore the- Oh, she says- she doesn't say it like that. No. I know, Sia really is saying this with her whole chest. Sia, you really believe this. You really don't like that girl. You just restarted Animal Crossing Island? <gasps> Bookish, Bookish, we're gonna be on the same page. It's literally our grandpa's land. Why are you on our property? Because no one lived there. CEO, you are you you might be an old man shaking your fist at the sky with this take. I think I think this one's on you. <laughs> C 
CO, COD? Yell at children to get off your lawn on, on the weekends? Is that what you do, CO? He just died. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> That's fair, CO. That's fair. Honestly, valid. She's just an adventurous girl who likes to eat rocks. Exactly. <laughs> CO, get off my lawn, Weo. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go to the mines for a little bit. Just a little bit. I, in, in me and Alyssa's playthrough, we got like so lucky with sword drops, like weapon drops in the mines. The first weapon drop I got, it was like on the first 20 uh, levels. Oh, I need to, I need to upgrade my storage stat. Um, I got a forest sword on like the first 20 levels and then in the first like 50, I got the sledgehammer, the sledge, sledgy sledge one. That's like 40, 40 damage. I was having a ball. I was having a blast. I was one shot killing all of the slimes. It was a great time. It's like a it's like a cheat code. Oh, speaking of cheats. Speaking of cheats. Speaking of cheat I should have gotten the chest anywhere cheat. Shooty shootles. Shoot shoot shoot. Why did I come here with a full inventory? You guys? You guys? Why did I come here with a full inventory? Okay, let's look at my cheats. Real quick. Oh, hello? <gasps> Wait, you guys? No. 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 I had the CBJ cheat downloaded oh is it not updated poo okay i'm gonna go home because i was silly and i didn't empty my pockets so you know let's play starting without us we do we do because we want to get to like the fun we gotta we want to do the grinding off of stream otherwise the stream's all grinding you know which is fun but Oh, hello. At least I leveled up. You calling the monster cheats are so funny. Cause okay, because the ones that I am talking about are the cheats one. It's the CBJ cheat. The CBJ cheat uh CBG, CBG, CBJ. That one, the cheat menu. It is the cheats. It is cheats. You should put a chest outside the cave. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's that's the huge. Them's the huge tactics. Your girls, your girls. Just, just running around. No plan, no job, no money, no prospects. Just living life. Just... God. Okay, this is gonna be the one I store my tools in. Me tools. And then I'll have a gems one. <laughs> me IRL. <laughs> I don't know about any mods for this game. I'm a noob. CO. Uh, CO help. Has anyone successfully been using the CBJ either item spawner or uh, cheats menu? Has anyone? Does that one work for you? Am I just silly and I haven't downloaded it correctly? You see, you saying... Poo reminds me of Poo. I know. I created an emotional attachment to your starting play through horse. I know. Poo. You haven't tried that one? Yep. It works. What the heck? Uh, what the heck? Mm. All my mods got messed up yesterday for some reason. It might have been from the update. The the second update. Come on, Poo. Just start sobbing. Why does mine not work? <gasps> you guys. Wait, let me double check. Let me double check. It's deployed. Let me hack the mainframe real quick. 
Okay, it's enabled. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. Yeah. Yeah, that one was my bad for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think we've, I think, I think we've got it. Hold on, I might just do a little restart, a, a cheeky little restart. We're at the end of a day. Thank you for the follow. She said, whoopsie doopsie. <laughs> the crickets. <laughs> the crickets with me realizing my fatal error. Oh, yikes. Okay. I know Spawner is updated. Prefer exact. Prefer latest. Prefer this one. Automatic gaze. Content pattern. La 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 la. Okay. 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 Purge and deploy. Thanks for your patience here, friends. Oh, can't run. Can't purge. Okay, okay. We're going to end the day. Then we're going to go see if we can make this, uh, this work. Because I really want this playthrough to be the one. I had to update my Snappy. Yeah, I updated everything before. Um, It's P to C. I know, but I it wasn't even loading. Unforch. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? You guys. You guys. What was I saying? You guys. Fail to update. Fail to install a common enemy when it's a same person. Okay. 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 Purge. Okay. <laughs> I think we sh I mean, we should be fine. We should be fine. All right, let's let's see. Let's go. Let's see. Hi beep. Apparently I had to add. No, it said mods couldn't load CBJ cheats menu because it's no longer compatible. What do you mean? Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, we might just, we might just have to not. Poo -poo. Baby. <laughs> uh, gonna test it on my end, okay. I honestly, I truly believe it is me. Oh, now it's, it's telling me to update it again, okay. I mean, was there an update like this second? Cause I just updated it before stream. <sighs> okay, one sec, one sec, guys, one sec. Thanks for your patience. Here, I'll just go to a big screen in my face because that's better. <laughs> <sighs> okay, continue. Update all profiles, please. Okay, 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 okay. 
Now, if I purge and deploy, how about now? How about now? <gasps> I think it worked, you guys. Yeah, that was just fully me. That was fully on me. I mean, no, I never do anything wrong ever. And I think it was the computer and not me. That's what I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Okay. Maybe someone else hacked the mainframe, honestly. I think some mainframe hacking happened that was totally unrelated to me. <laughs> Rosie Posey, thank you for the follow. You look very comfy. Thank you, Beep. I am very comfy. I'm feeling real good, real comf. Okay. We did it. We did it. We did it, everybody. My text sound is the menu sound and I keep checking it when Ken logs in like a dummy. <laughs> Dude, thank you for the follow. Okay, y'all. Infinite health. Yes. No, I'm kidding. Infinite stamina. Instant weapon. Wait, let's let me just give you give you if you haven't seen CBJ cheats menu. Clint! Get out of my face! Clint, get out, get out of my face, Clint. I'm trying to have a good day. I'm trying to have a lovely little day, Clint. And your presence upsets me just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, craft a furnace. That's great, that's great, that's great, that's great. Do I have enough to craft a furnace? No, I have one, I have literally one ore to craft a furnace. Okay, this is my, this is my gem. This is my tools and building, and this is my harvestables and and crappie crappies. Okay, build, gem, build, build. Oopsies, no. Build, 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 <laughs> gem. Um, I need a fish one too, I suppose. I could plant these. Um, anything else? Build, build, build. Okay. Build, build. Okay, plant these. Sick. Okay, now let's go through the cheat menu. Besties. Do you have scarecrows? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, I watch you on YouTube. What are your tips for living a happy, healthy, cozy life? Because right now I'm feeling like I, Rosie Posey, don't I know it. Don't I know it. I think tips are finding things you enjoy doing, finding your hobbies, and trying to make as much time for them as you can. Truly, truly, that it's, it's, it's the easiest way to feel a little bit better, a little more fulfilled. I think like long term, it's going to take a lot of, a lot of different factors that are hard to discuss right now. But short term finding something that makes you happy coloring gaming watching things reading and just making prioritizing it hi scott thank you for the follow how many save files do you have I literally could not tell you i think i have like five on mobile like five on switch like three to four from like my old switch i mean steam account from like 2016 and then i have like six multiplayers floating around throughout different consoles i have like six or seven here i don't know i couldn't tell you i really couldn't tell you which meal is that this is um like it's the cook unity like beef i think it's beef ragu it's delicious mm. games you can play with partner my favorites overcooked moving out um luigi's mansion three mm. it takes two although i haven't finished it Still really fun. Lovers in a dangerous space time. 
Those are my favorites right off the bat. And Stardew, of course. Of course, Stardew. Okay. One hit kill, no. Max daily luck, no. Instant weapon cooldown. That could be fun. Move speed. We could we could bump up our move speed a little. Hold on now. Hello. Woo! She's speedy. She's speedy. Let's do two. Three feels too much. Three feels like too much. Oh yeah. Okay. Inventory size. No, we'll go through that kosher. Infinite watering can. No. One hit break. No. Harvest with scythe. Yes, I love harvest with scythe. Okay. Yeah, you can add golden walnuts. How does that work? How can you add <laughs> zooming? Wait, I want to see how like what the max speed is. Ten. Oh my god! Oh my god! She's zooming. Look at her go! You guys, <laughs> she's so fast. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we won't be doing that. Let's go back to two. I keep doing the wrong menu. That's so funny. Okay, we won't add money right now, but I do want to use this playthrough to let Sonic. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the fall. I do want to use this playthrough to like mess around. So maybe in the future we'll add money. But my question is, how do you add golden walnuts when you actually have to locate and find golden walnuts? How does that work? How does that work? How does that work? I don't understand it. Dessert before dinner is perfectly acceptable. I agree, bookish. I 100% agree. Hi, Jess. When does this update come to Switch? Um, we don't know yet, unfortunately. We don't know. Can you change speed on Switch? No. No. The tasks you can get done on that speed, right? I want that in real life. <laughs> She's zooming. Okay, farming and fishing. Auto water crops would be nice. Durable fences. I'm going to do durable fences. Instant build. Ooh, instant build is nice. Instant build is nice. Auto feed animals, auto pet animals is nice, auto pet pets, infinite hay, instant catch, instant bite, always throw max distance, always treasure, durable tackles, we won't do those. Fast machine processing could be nice. Bee house, bait maker, anvil, bone mill, cask, cheese press, crab pot, fruit trees, fish smoker, hello. <clears throat> incubator oh my god okay skills we can mess with our skills i won't be doing that this cheap will be my downfall i have no control <laughs> concerned ape hasn't given a date yet i think people are projecting a couple of months okay did, did my switch people hear that switch people hear that couple of months are the non-concerned ape non-confirmed projections i'm thinking of getting a steam deck have you tried it is it worth it i really like the steam deck but i personally just recently got the rog ally and i kind of like it more i think if you are like a not very much a computer person and you like when something's a little bit easier to hack the mainframe you know what I mean? I kind of like the ROG Ally. And if you're used to like a Switch, it's nice too because it's lighter. So it's like, it's closer to the Switch size. It's cuter in my opinion. And it runs Windows instead of Linux. I think, is, is Steam Deck Linux? I don't know. Um, but it's just easier. It's basically like having like a mini computer that you can run mods on really easily versus like steam deck i always feel like i literally have to learn coding to hack the mainframe and like add mods but that's just my opinion caveman thank you for the follow i'm in the only place switch in bed that's why i didn't want to make a pc exactly i feel you i feel you that's why i like i like having a gaming laptop and i like having the rg ally because i end up using the gaming laptop more than i do the handhelds but still, the alley is nice for, like, travel or something, you know? I don't know. The Steam Deck is just so bulky. 
That's my only thing. It does run really well, kind of. Actually, I don't know, but... <laughs> I'm getting my first gaming desk and was wondering what your number one must have for a gaming desk setup. I don't know that I have a number one must have. I really don't know that I do. I feel like you can't really go wrong with just like, like if you're starting off with just like the basics of everything, I feel like you're good to go. Like you're good to go. You need a keyboard, a mouse, monitor, and then the PC. Like you don't really need to go crazy, crazy with anything. I feel like other people might have a different opinion, but mm -mm. hack the mainframe, be that alpha, and be the matrix. <laughs> a desk mat, yeah. I feel like you could go without a desk mat for a little bit, but it's nice. It's a nice to have. Renee, thank you for the follow. I think the price for the Steam Deck is what makes it so good. That's true. Well, actually, yeah. That's. I don't know that I've ever like. Hold on one sec. Hacking the mainframe. But the ROG Ally's not bad either. Is it? No. I feel like it's 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 comparable. ROG Ally, $400 on Best Buy right now. And then Steam Deck is like... Number one is an easily cleanable two something for the cheapest, three something for the cheapest. I feel like they're comparable. Hack the planet. <laughs> My suggestion for game setup is not to compare what you see online. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like go with go with the absolute minimum of what you need and like the keep it bare bones until you absolutely feel like you need to upgrade in little ways. Like don't just go all out and try and like copy what you see online. It's okay if it takes years to kind of build it up, you know. Keyboard you like is nice. Make sure the keycaps can make a sound that doesn't annoy you. Thomas! Number one is an easily cleanable desk mat. Thomas! Uh, that's a good point. Although I have a felt desk mat and I love it. I just vacuum it. Oh, never mind. I think they brought the prices down for the ROG Ally. Oh, wait. I could see it if it used... What? What? I could see if it used to be expensive. I see what you mean. Can you show us the, what your very first setup looked like? Oh my god, yes. I'll share it in the... I know, we're getting off track, y'all. Sorry. I, I'll share it in the Discord. I have a video of it, I think. It's like... It was literally on a box. Like, it was on a cardboard box. <laughs> no joke. I wonder if I have, like, a an actual... Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had like an in-between to show you. Dang. I don't really have an in-between, but this is the <laughs> this is the OG. <laughs> oh, okay, it's going in stream chat, y'all. It's going in stream chat. Okay. Currently raining. So oh, you can make it rain, lightning, or snow. That's nice. Relationships. You can up your relationships. Give gifts anytime. No friendship decay is nice. I was thinking of just installing that as a mod. So maybe I'll do that. Warp locations. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, y'all. We might be warping the... We might be absolutely warping. Okay, that's nice. Time. Freeze time inside. I love freezing time inside. I love freezing time inside. I'm doing that. I won't freeze time in the caves. Um, advanced wallet items. I won't do these. I won't do those. Open menu, P, freeze time, none. Grow tree, numpad, grow crops. Grow distance. Okay. Okay, I think we might warp when needed. Hello? Okay. We might warp when needed. And we might water crops when, when necessary. Auto water crops. But other than that, I'm liking the extra speediness. And I'm liking... What else did we do? I forget what else we did. My knees hurt just looking at that floor set up. I know, right? 
I know. The Astarion mod doesn't work. Ooh, sorry, Haley. Is there a new Cozy Hobbies mod coming soon? There, there can be soon. There certainly can be. My next one planned after this week's is a like romanticizing your day type type dealio. Okay. Boop. 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 The chance of breaking your switch is higher than zero, and that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, I didn't read the rest. I thought that just came out of nowhere. I believe you can get mods on the switch, but it involves jailbreaking. Oh, no. Yeah, that's scary. That is so scary. Pika, hello. Welcome. Oh, Moon Gem. That's so sweet. Romanticize your spaghetti. <laughs> so true, bestie. How are you walking so fast? I just I just added a uh, mod for it. Aren't I so speedy? Ooh, speedy girl. I feel like this is the same speed as coffee, right? Plus, plus two speed is coffee speed, right? Or is it one? Let's see. Yeah, coffee's a little speedier than that, right? Your YouTube videos make my day. Aw, you guys! Stop being so nice to me! Oh my gosh. Uh, you're gonna make me cry or something stupid. Stop. Okay, our kale is ready. I need coffee speed to get me through the work day. <laughs> uh, What are these? Oh, those are like the wild seeds. Thank you. You deserve it. Stop it, beep. You stop it right now. Thank you, House, for the follow. I was just watching the Q&A with Alyssa, and I liked how you talked about resetting your brain to think more positively. Yeah. It's, it's truly a learned habit. It really is. It really, really, truly is. Also, I think, like, I grew up with the the mentality for better or for worse honestly because i think there's definitely some some pitfalls to this mentality but i grew up in my family with the the mentality of like you can choose to be happy or you can choose to be sad which obviously is not true <laughs> obviously it's not true but i think like that having that instilled in my head for my entire childhood made me th realize that about thoughts about myself very early on and so um i think from a younger age i realized that like having negative thoughts about yourself has an impact on how you feel and then like how you feel about yourself so that was always something i was kind of cognizant of but then like as an adult you realize that more and more and like that's something it's hard it's so difficult but it's super 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 important to like retrain your brain to cast out the negative self-talk and only invite in the positive self-talk because you internalize those things you really do and it's okay to like jokey joke joke about things it's okay to be like self-deprecating in certain ways when it's like whatever but i mean the like genuine genuine negative self-talk that you truly believe in your core that stuff Ooh, i'm keeping my large egg Retrain your brain. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. I think I'm just going to keep doing parsnips because I'm scared and I want to get the, the gold parsnips. Yeah, the just get over it isn't still so, so young, right? Just stop feeling things, silly goose. Don't feel. Don't feel. Conceal. Don't let them know. <laughs> Your thoughts create, period. Um, can someone tell me where to find Mayor Lewis's purple shorts? Do you really want to know? Do you really want to? Oh, I didn't know it was the sh I didn't know. All right, well, okay. Thank God I have spots. Thank God I have open spots. Oh my God. 
I almost walked it. I I, I could have missed out on my strawberry seeds for the season. Uh uh uh. Shameful. All right, let's get started. I already talked to everybody. Training your brain like that is so important. You are literally forming new neural pathways when you do. It's science. Yes, true, true, true. I think the key difference is whether or not you wallow in the negative emotion. Absolutely. You can choose to not be sad. But you can't choose to not be sad, but you can choose to sit in it. I think, yeah, I think that's true sometimes. It's it's dependent on whether or not you have like <laughs> actual brain chemistry sadness happening or not. But yeah, I, I agree with that. I loved how you talked about the trash can to your skincare at night. Yeah, I just got an ADD diagnosis and I'm on a quest to figure out what works for me. Yes, all of the things that I've figured out work for me have all been like, exactly. I mean, if you have depression, this is not really a choice. Exactly. Uh, for vo, for vo, for vo. Agreed. Um, the, all of the things that I realize work best for me in my life, I've gotten from like, ADHD hack TikToks. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. If this isn't a diagnosis, I don't know what is. But yeah, that was like an ADHD hack thing. And the like writing what food you have in the fridge, outside of the fridge helped. Um, what else helped? I forget, but absolutely sometimes things just don't work for your brain and that's okay and you have to do them differently i experienced a similar home environment plus the like misconception that you have this sense of control and if you don't then something's wrong that's so true moon that's so true yep 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 <laughs> yeah clinical depression depression aside exactly i had a teacher in high school that made us say two nice things and we said something negative about something someone oh that definitely laid the groundwork to help change my mindset for the positive. That's really nice. That's a really nice thing to learn in the classroom. You seem like such a sweet person in your conscience. Like, Aw, thank you, Hannah. I have to take meds or I literally cannot move with my depression. It sucks. Exactly. Yeah. Like those are the exact examples. Vervo of like, <laughs> sometimes you can't just not wallow. Like you, sometimes your brain forces you to wallow. It's not your fault. It is not your fault. But yeah, in positive self-talk mode, though, I think we we do have more control over positive self-talk than sometimes we feel we do. I think I'm working, and I that that's not mood based. That's like how we f how we think about ourselves and the grace and the patience we give ourselves. You know. Mm, I'm working with a sixteen. Oh my god, you guys, I almost died. I almost choked. A 16-year-old with low self-esteem. Good. Best of luck to you. Oh my god, you guys, I'm speedy. Oh, now I feel like I'm fully... This is really cheating. Although I do win this every time, I must say. I do always win. But now, I really... I don't know that this will feel uh, justified. <laughs> Stop it. I'm so focused. I'm so locked in right now. Uh. Uh. I see that one down there, but too bad. I'm going up here. Oh, uh. where is it? Here. Ah, uh. uh. my goal's usually ten. E caveman, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, let's all say something nice about ourselves. Yeah, yeah, everybody say something nice about yourself. Ali Vito, thank you for the follow. The food thing's so real. Yes, I had to write down everything I can make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner with ingredients I normally have in the fridge. Exactly, exactly. The ingredients are too many steps. When I have ingredients, I don't have any food at home. There's no food. If there's ingredients, I don't have food. I have to order Taco Bell because I don't have any food. <laughs> I keep my meds by my bed and set my alarm for an hour earlier. I take it, then snooze while it kicks in. That's my biggest hack. That's so... Haley, that... You're kind of a genius, Haley. <laughs> you're kind of a genius. Please be happy. Let's see. Did we? Did we? I want the hat. I want the hat. I want the hat. I want the hat. Yay! 
I'm glad I'm not the only one who hums to the music. I can't help it. <laughs> hi, Shayel. How are you? Hi, hi. I'm kind and compassionate. Hell yeah, Danny. Hell yeah. You are kind and compassionate. All this talk about talk making me crave it so bad. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll also go so that y'all feel comfortable saying something kind about yourselves. I did I what did I water the plants? Let me let me plant these real quick. I um hmm. Excuse me. Currently burping. <laughs> I can um i hmm i don't know i don't know which one to pick you guys <laughs> i just so many options <laughs> kidding i am proud of myself for setting more personal boundaries with work this year and i am creating more work-life balance and prioritizing myself and my needs and i am very proud of myself for that and i'm proud of myself for being able to listen to myself and give myself what I need in this here life. Because I had a lot of difficulties with that before. But now she listens and implements. Boom. Can I continue to do better? Yes. But I am doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That reminds me of my psychiatrist went, yeah, mental health is real. Please say something that isn't surreal. Oh my God. <laughs> that's wild. I have naturally long and curled eyelashes. <gasps> that's beautiful. I'm so jealous of you. Look at that. Oh, we need some torches. Yes, You're right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm full yes, of ideas. Sir. I love that one. I love how definitively you guys are saying these. This is, this is powerful. This was my suggestion, but it's hard. First time viewer. Hello, everyone. This gameplay has been so entertaining. Hi, Pixel. I'm a very loyal friend. That's good. That's very nice. I like that. Marnie Doop. I'm good at self-reflecting and always striving to do better. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bye, Galaxy. Bye, Galaxy. I can't keep begging my husband for Taco Bell every Thursday. <laughs> I think you can. I think you can. Just came back from hanging out with my best friend, so now I'm in a better mood than this morning. Yay! <laughs> I am very empathetic. Oh, sirens! Our empathetic bestie. Progress isn't linear, and I am constantly improving whether I see it or not. Period! So true. I keep forgetting about Queen of Sauce. Oh my god. Coleslaw. Wait, why am I speedy? Oh. Is this just gonna keep... Okay. It's just gonna keep going. I guess. I suppose. Can I pick these, please? Can I pick my beans? Oh, it requires a scythe. Oh. I didn't want everything to require a scythe. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, my hat! I can wear my hat, you guys! Wait, my hat. Yay! I work hard to be my best self every day, but I also show up for myself and not just others around me. Hell yeah, self-care is a must after all years of putting myself last. Yes! I'm having a hard time finding nice things about me. I'm nice. I'm not- That's good! You're nice! You're nice! Nice is good! Nice is good. Is there anything, like, inner that doesn't have to do with, like, other people? You know, like, how you act towards other people? Because that's good. That's good. What about just like who you are? You know, you don't have to share with us. Just, just a reflection question. Just a reflection. And if you are finding it difficult to come up with things, just some to reflect on. You know, some to reflect on. Maybe, maybe you know, f practicing affirmations feels a little weird because you're not used to it, and maybe you just need to get used to it. Maybe you need to be a little kinder to yourself every day. Even if it feels weird, it'll stop feeling weird. Okay. I... I'm gonna keep these eggs. 
I've gotten through everything difficult I've experienced. Yes. I am worth that effort. You are. Absolutely. A reminder that empathy and sensitivity is a blessing in many ways. Very true. Not everybody has that. Very, very true. I'm good at advocating for myself, particularly in business endeavors. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I made the best out of what life has given me, and I truly have learned how to enjoy myself now. <gasps> that makes me so happy. Oh, you guys are make me cry. Stop. Don't make me cry. Don't do it. Thank you, Rafi, for the follow. I'm funny. Yes, you are, PP Scout. I really need to get used to it. I'm actually mean only to myself. See, right? Because I think the best thing, whenever I'm I'm talking with friends about learning positive self-talk, I'm like, would you like think about the child, the child closest to you in your life? And ju I just say child because it's easiest to like have all that empathy for a child versus like your friend or whatever. Like Obviously, you could use a friend too, but I think a child is especially powerful. Think of the child closest to you in your life and imagine talking to them the way that you talk to yourself. And think if you would be okay with that, you know? Just just reflect on if you would f that would sit comfortably with you. Watch your profanity. And if you don't have a child, <laughs> watch your profanity. If you don't have a child closest to you, then your friend, your best friend, would you talk to your best friend that way, you know? Um, you just reflect. You just reflect, and then be patient with yourself. And if you're like, no, I wouldn't, then, then know that you can work towards eventually talking to yourself the way that you would talk to anybody else. I'm not so wise. I am, but a, but a combination of all the things I have learned from other people in my life. It doesn't come from me. It comes from le learning. Yeah. I finally started to let go of perfectionism, comparing myself to others, and just focus on what makes me happy. Period. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Comparing yourself will never make you happy. Ever, ever, ever. That does help. Thank you. Thank you, my inner child. Yes, exactly. She deserves protection and love. In affirmations. I literally imagine someone saying it to myself as a child and correct it. It's hard to program your brain to do it, but it's so powerful. It is. It's hard, but like you, it eventually becomes second nature. I get mad when my boyfriend is mean to himself. I'm like, bitch, that's my boyfriend you're talking to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we still do that to each other. The the mods at our little mods group. <laughs> you know. We still, we still tell each other, hey, you be nice. You be nice to that person. That's you. <laughs> Hello, cozy friends. Just a reminder, you're all, we sure do. Exactly, Erica. You're all awesome, wonderful, special, and kind human beings. Yes. So true. Set a picture of yourself as a child as your lock screen and you will be shocked how kind you can be to yourself. That's so sweet, comfy queen. I've, I've heard of similar things of like putting a picture on your, on your mirror that you, um look at every day like a picture of you as a child on your mirror every day so that anytime you're like looking at yourself you have that process of thinking of your inner child and you don't say mean things to her or them or him we're all just learning no matter what progress yeah and where we end up exactly Sharo, thank you for the follow there's something moving around in there y'all I don't remember if that cut screen does anything. Cut screens? Cut scene. <laughs> Where am I going? What am I doing? Why did I come down here? Why am I down here? You guys. What? Oh, oh, wood, wood, wood. I want to chop wood. I need more chests. Doop, 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 doop. Oh, Krobus? The bus! Krobus! <laughs> Mr. Bus! <laughs> Mr. Bus, if you please. Legolas! Hello, how are you? Would the cutscenes take too long? You forget what you're doing, literally. And I skip all of them still, and I still forget. 
Thank you, Guri, for the follow. Also, I forgot who who brought that up, but thank you for bringing that up because what an important combo topic. Always, always. An easy one to forget. What? Oh. I was like, why does our bridge not have a bridge? It does. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one hundred so I can make two chests. One for fish and one for the mines. The absolute unit and best roommate ever crib is my beloved. <laughs> I'm dead, you silly. Iron fence, farmers lunch, spring seeds, hops, sprinkler, cranberry sauce, parsnip soup. Oh, red plate could be nice. House plant, rare seed, no. Sorry, girl. I'm broke. Thursday group therapy, right? <laughs> almost glad. Glad it's almost Friday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 40k away from poop pile. Yes, beep. Beep. You got this. I like how much you talk about internalized misogyny in your doo doo podcast. Do you have advice on working on that? I feel like I'm better now, but it's something I've always worked on. That's a really good. That's a really good uh, combo topic as well. I think for me, it always helps to just pause when I have a thought and think about where that thought is coming from. You know, like when you have a thought, if you are like judging someone for something, if you have any just kind of slightly negative thought, <laughs> especially when it comes to fellow women, to just reflect on where it's coming from reflect on if it's coming from a good place reflect on if it's coming from like what you truly believe or what we've kind of been taught from <laughs> society and i think like leading with support like leading with the goals and values of like always supporting people when they deserve it when they deserve it when they deserve it asterisk when they deserve it always supporting people um i think will lead you to the right conclusions you know what i mean like if you're if you're leading with an umbrella value system of like i'm i'm going to support women and i'm going to lift up women then it's really hard to like not then come into conflict with like any internalized misogyny that like creeps up through the, the cracks of your psyche because then it, it like hits this umbrella of support and you're like whoa what's happening what is this that doesn't that doesn't work with this like system I've built in my head and so just making sure that 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 is always internalized that you always do want to like support and uplift um, other women and then just reflecting, just reflecting. Because I still, like, to this day, to this day, the, 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 the indoctrination, you guys, it's there. It's there and it's strong and it's hard to avoid. Sometimes I'll have a thought and I'll be like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> what the hell, girl? You don't think that. You don't really think that. And then I, you know, you work through it. You don't, like, you don't have to, like, feel guilty about it. It's just, just what it is. And then you learn from it. Yeah, that's how I've been working on it, but hate uh, the creep in the cracks. It feels icky. I feel that, but I think you have to be patient with yourself. Like, I think you can be forgiving with yourself and realize that it's not your fault. You know, it's not coming from like you being a bad person. It's coming from just like social conditioning and that's not your fault. That ain't your fault. Brain just braining. Exactly, exactly. You don't have to give weight to the thoughts that you have. You don't. There's 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 no like moral ass assignment to your thoughts until you like internalize them and make them beliefs, you know? Okay. I'm going to Oh wait. I'm sorry. I got too excited. I'm making it I'm making two chests and then I'm going to the mines. I'm yearning. I'm yearning for the mines. Let's go. 
Here's my fish one. Nope. Here's my fish one. I'm gonna put my tools away. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put my tools away. That I don't need. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Need those. Don't need this. Don't need this. Okay, let's let's go. Yearn! Thank you for answering, of course, Christine. Of course. You're doing great. The fact that you even care and think about it means you're a great person and you're trying. And that's all you can ask for. How are you like 1.6? 1, 1. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Love the women's. I've been watching your videos. It really helped me to relax after work. Oh, yay. Oh my God, chicken wing. That sounds so fun. Yes, exactly. Love the women and femmes in your life. Period. Period. I had really bad misogyny because I hated my mom. I went to therapy now. <laughs> Ultimate girly pop. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. Also, that's a that's a good point too, is to like unpack where it comes from too. Is it coming from a place of insecurity? Is it coming from like familial problems like that? Where is it coming from? Identity, conflicts, you know? Can you see yourself getting aesthetic mods in the future? Alyssa and I use aesthetic mods. But I kind of like, I kind of like bare bones. I think I got used to bare bones in, uh, from doing perfection vanilla. <laughs> so now I don't know. I kind of like to switch between the two. But the playthrough on Sundays with Alyssa is like super, super aesthetic, super fairy themed cottage core. Sometimes when you say yearning, I hear urinating. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Beth, I love that. Thoughts are just leaves flowing down the stream of life. You can acknowledge it and just watch them pass. Exactly. Exactly. Rosie, thank you for the follow. Supporting women's rights and wrongs. <laughs> Hilarious. When do you, when will I get a new YouTube video? I think the new one's going to come out um, Saturday. Saturday. Hi, Carlos. Is anyone going to watch the solar eclipse on April 8th? <gasps> Wait, is that is that the one that you can like... No! Okay, you guys. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm hacking the mainframe. I'm hacking the mainframe. What the hell? Oh, this is the item spawner. <laughs> this is the item spawner. I don't want that right now. Um, I'm infinite stamina-ing me, myself. Me, myself. Should I do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I right, hacked the mainframe. I'm I'm powerful. I'm all powerful. No one can stop me. Except okay, I can be stopped a little bit. Hold on. You get away. You get away. I'm invincible. <laughs> yeah, why not, Yolo? <laughs> I'm gonna be able to see it and I'm so excited. Oh, I wanna go. I wanna travel to see it. I wanna go. Is it, what is it, like, Arizona? What's the line of states where you can see it? I don't think you can see it in California. Or at least where I am. Girl, you have three years of proof that you can play vanilla starting mod it up! <laughs> All right, I'll mod it up, I'll mod it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna steal these torches. I need them. Mine now, thanks. Thank you for the follow. I don't know how you mod, so I play vanilla. <laughs> it's, 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 um, Alyssa has a video on her Instagram, if that helps. It's, it's pretty straightforward if you use a mod manager. I used to just do it willy nilly with the, with the moving the folders into the mod folder and stuff. But if you download Vortex, it's like a mod manager. It makes it so easy. My God, it's lovely. I follow you on TikTok. Hi, Kayla. Hello, hello. Indiana's gonna have a hundred percent totality. <gasps> oh, I live in Texas and like right on the path where it'll be. Oh my gosh. Oh, share it. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. W cheater. Alyssa has a tutorial on her TikTok. Okay, awesome. TikTok and Insta. She's got a little tutorial. 
It's also great if you use uh, mods for other games. Like I just started looking into mods for Baldur's Gate and then I have a bunch of mods for Lethal Company. So it's nice when you have a lot of different games. Because I know some people use a separate mod manager for Stardew. I forget what it's called. It's like Star Drop, Stardew, Stardew, Dew. Do. But um, it's nice when you use mods for other games to have Vortex. Help! 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 I'm good. I got it. <laughs> We're all good. It's fine. The fact that I got one floor down. Come on! Come on! Lee! Lee! Let me just get one more down. One more down. Clint and Stardew is actually Vincent in the future. <gasps> but that's just a theory. <laughs> that's so funny. You think Clint is is Vincent in the future? We know this as they are both really annoying. <laughs> Stop it. That's so funny. <laughs> My proof, they're really sucky and insufferable to be around and talk to ever. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> A game theory. That's so sad. Vincent called me auntie. Sorry. Your nephew's annoying and insufferable also. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of Stop it. Get rid of this. And pick this up. Okay. Bye, slimes. Bye. Fave lethal company mod? Ooh. Probably infinite stamina. We use infinite stamina. Ooh. Infinite stamina or mini map? Both are like the cheatiest cheats ever. Like very much cheat and not, you know, just game enhancing mod. But I think it genuinely makes the game more fun and better. <laughs> Because the stamina is like absolutely terrible. It's just annoying. And then the mini map is just so nice. I don't know. Especially when you're only playing with like one or two other people. The mini map is kind of essential. Genius cheats. <laughs> uh, not Clint, right? I took the day off and I'm going to go to Eclipse party. That's so fun. We're having moon pies. That's so <laughs> I haven't tried Hell Divers. No. I haven't. What's Alyssa's Twitch? It's... Uh, t oh, you got it. Thank you, mods. Thank you. You guys are the best. The extra emotes are fun. True that. True that. It's like that one Michael Scott clip. It's because I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what's the fortune? Good humor. Okay, 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 okay. It's called an idiot theory for a reason. I, I think... Hey! You little shit. I think it was it was quite insightful. Most crops only grow one season. Thank you, Grandma. Thanks so much. Do, 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 do. Okay, wait. Can I can I make a I can't even Oh I can't make a scarecrow! Oh my god, you guys! This whole time. Oh, uh, hold on. This whole time. I was sitting my booty on these gosh dang things. Hold on. I hate, I, I, I'm turning this off. I hate the scythe. I hate the scythe thing. Where is it? Wait. Oh. I hate the harvest with scythe. There we go. Pause the game, please. Thank you. <laughs> Skinwalker mod. The Skinwalker mod isn't isn't actually as scary as I thought it was gonna be. It's not. I was hoping for more. I wish that it were like intelligent enough to. We got one golden parsnip. What the heck? Uh... Wait, I think I need. Do I still need one for the community center? I don't know. I wish that it were like intelligent enough to choose like 
uh, voice clips that were particularly scary. But it kind of doesn't. It just picks random voice clips. So then you're like, okay, I know that's the Skinwalker mod. Because <laughs> there's no context to it. Okay, I'm going to put this here. Oops, no. He no! Here. I'm going to put this here for now. These here for now. Okay. And water. No! <sighs> I wish that there was a mod for not being able to destroy your own crops. I, w I really wish that were something that was available to do. I picked the black kitty and named him Shadow Q. Have you played any horror games? I think, I mean, does Lethal Company count as a horror game? <laughs> I would say so. It can be kind of creepy sometimes. I would say, if so, I'd say Lethal Company. Um, Other than that, no. I'm not a horror game fan. That doesn't even need to be a mod. It needs to be an update, right? It's just not right. It's just not right. Okay, you guys. Sabrina, thank you for the follow. Seriously, just like a quick pop-up. Exactly. Yeah, do you actually want to ruin your crop plot, you big buffoon? <laughs> oh, you don't? Oh, awesome. You know, that's all. That's all I ask. I would kill for some tea right now. It was so funny on my <laughs> the like night of my birthday. Ryan was being so sweet the whole day. He always is on my birthday, but he's being so sweet the whole day, just like waiting on me hand and foot, which he usually does do, but I, I like usually am asking him for things. <laughs> and he does it very happily. But this time he was just like, you know, very birthday, birthday uh pampering levels. And at the end of the day, I was like, can I just can we just do this every day? <laughs> I'm like, how about like, what if like we do this like through the weekend even or like through forever? <laughs> this is great. This is really nice. <laughs> I want to be princess all the time. Meanwhile, I'm like, Ryan, can you make me tea? And he does it. <laughs> Birthday month. Exactly. Uh, that's me with the hubby when he gives me an ounce of princess treatment, right? <laughs> I'm like, so this all the time, please. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have two. Okay, so I only need three. I'm gonna go get more. I'm gonna fill this up with parsnips. I'm filling this up with parsnips. And then I feel like I can kind of chill out and focus on other crops. But right for right now, I just really, I'm hyper focused on the gold parsnips, you guys. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Acts of service queen, truly. Honestly, yeah. Very true. I feel like I don't, I don't name that one as a love language, but I do be liking, I, I do be liking my pampering. Very nice. I still have flashbacks from your playthrough with Alyssa. I love your chaotic crop play. <laughs> I do the same. <laughs> Thank you. You mean when she was yelling at me for doing, for harvesting the parsnips? Uh, hi, Sari. Sorry. Okay. I don't know how many plots I have, but I'm just going to do 17. <laughs> and then I'm going to do some kale. Okay, cool. I got to spring 28 and realized I only had four gold parsnips. No! Am I supposed to hoard crops each season? No, I say do whatever the hell you want to do. Teddy, thank you for the follow. The boy does really nice things for me. He sets my coffee cup for the morning each night. That's so sweet, man. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> um, no, I don't think that you have to hoard crops. I, I do everything based off of the community center, if that helps. Like literally, I all of my actions are guided by what I need at the community center and not by like max profits. Oh, that was kind of perfect, actually. 
Hello. Did I already get the... Yes, I did. Okay. Scrappy Buster. Does anyone play Stardew on Steam Deck? I was playing it on, on the uh, ROG. That was fun. Although it's really confusing for me, my brain doesn't like it because whenever I played handheld, it was on the Switch. And so the A and B buttons are switched on both the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. So then I keep, I keep like accidentally doing things like eating things because I keep <laughs> getting it uh, mixed up. Oh, it's salmonberry. I need, what am I missing? Horseradish. I'm missing some horseradish, baby. I'm gonna sell these, I'm gonna sell these. And then my, my girlies need hay. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. I love playing on the Switch, but I know I need mods, yeah. I thought about trying Stardew on Steam Deck. I mostly play that on console now. Yeah. I think it's nice. If you like to play in bed, it's nice. But I, I still kind of prefer my lap, my gaming laptop over either of the handhelds that I have. I don't know. I think I just like the bigger screen. But you know what is nice for both the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally is that you can dock it and play with mods. So you could like play in bed if you have a TV in your room. You could dock it on your TV in your room. Play in bed with mods with a controller. Boop boop boop. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the ultimate setup, I think. One two three four. Okay, I'm gonna put these in the chickens coop, and then I'm gonna get more seeds, and then I think I'm gonna do some. I'm gonna do me some fishing. I thought you needed a PC for that to work. For what to work? I feel the same way. See, see. Mm-hmm. Oh, scarecrow, scarecrow, scarecrow. What do I need? What do I need for scarecrow? I just picked. It. Okay, I got it. almost everything. Scarecrow, scarecrow. Finally. God. Okay. And I only need five more uh, copper. I don't think this scarecrow will cover everything, will it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> okay, crows, don't eat my freaking two rows on the right. It left. God damn it, that was my bad. I have some strawberries over there too. Oh, I should just do two scarecrow. Let me do two. Can I? Wood. I need more wood. Okay. <sighs> uh. Can you dock a Steam Deck? Yeah. You can dock a Steam Deck and an ROG Ally. I'm going, I'm, I'm, I am a ROG Ally stan because when I am doing a partnership with them in the future and that's the only reason why I even tried one because I didn't really know they existed and I am a convert because I bought the Steam Deck myself, two of them actually, and was like, oh, this is peak like handheld PC gaming. This is fantastic. I want for nothing else. And then I'm doing a partnership with RG Ally, so I got to try the RG Ally and now I'm a convert. Sorry, I am. It's cuter. So I'm, I'm trying to get everybody else on the RG Ally train, not just because I'm doing a partnership with them because it's better. <laughs> new save for the update. Yeah, this is my new save. New save. I think when it does come to switch though, I might I might revisit my old one. My uh, Tenkatsu farm. One of my friend's Steam decks just broke. Uh-oh. 
my friend just got an rg ally and i want one i love that you can play steam and xbox yeah you can on on steam deck too though you can play xbox game pass on steam deck but it's just like clunkier i don't know the rg ally is so hot and sleek and easy and cute and like the steam deck is clunky and hard to navigate <laughs> But it's basically the same. Like, you can do the exact same things on both. It's just what you... It's, like, the style you prefer and, like, the lightness and then the operating system. Like, do you want Linux or do you want uh, Windows? Okay, what am I doing? Uh, oh, Scarecrow. Oh, okay. I need 50. Thank you, Bum Bum, for the follow. I also dock it. Yes! It's so fun. It's so fun to dock. I feel like if you have a Switch and a... If you have a Switch and a some kind of like handheld PC thing, whether it's Steam Deck, RG Ally, or like a laptop, a gaming laptop, I feel like you're good to go. Like, I feel like you don't need a PC unless you really want like like crazy graphics op like power and you i don't know like to sit down and have like multiple screens or something i don't know but i feel like other than that like you have you basically have access to everything from those two because you can play xbox games switch you can play all the nintendo games you know what i mean <gasps> sad little acorn thank you for the raid thank you thank you welcome welcome in raiders welcome in welcome in welcome in hello 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 sad little acorn is such a cute name i love that hi raiders Sad little acorn, if you need a little break after stream, please, 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 please take one. Thank you for trusting me in this community of little poopies with your community. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wanted to make a new friend playing Stardew. Oh, hi. Y'all go follow Sad Little Acorn. Oh, I didn't get a chance to get my seeds, y'all. Poopy. Poopy doopy. It's okay. It's fine. We'll just make our scarecrows. It's fine. It's all good. It's all, it's all fine and dand. Okay. Thank you again, Sad Little Acorn. I appreciate you being here. I hope stream went well. Hope you're liking the update. Okay. Wait. Is that enough? Yes. 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 Okay. To sleep we go. Hi, weekend minis. How are you? I love the RG Ally. It's so pretty. I got the deck as a gift, though, just as I bought one. So I sadly secretly returned it. Aw, but that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think, I think what, like, if you have one or the other, you're good. But if you're choosing between the two, I think RG Ally. If you're choosing between the two and you mostly play cozy games, absolutely RG Ally. If you're choosing between the two and you, like hacking the mainframe i think steam deck probably but definitely a researchy thingy i love my rg ally it has fixed my need for gaming pc right exactly i love playing docked and rarely use it as a handheld yeah and it's so pretty exactly that's how you move stuff you just chop at it to pick it up <laughs> yeah it depends what it is but if it's like a chest or something that's what i'd do I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. Oh, fertilizers. Thanks, Pierre. Thanks. Oh, I wanted to save some horseradish. All right. Look at us go. Okay, you guys, this is this is the moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. Will we have oopsies? Hold on, let me get let me get a sword. Oh! Oh, two! We got two! We need one more! <gasps> we need one more, you guys! We need one more! We need one more! Okay, I'm gonna save two of those. I'm gonna sell these. Yep, sell everything else. Okay. 
Yay! Okay, and then we just planted a bunch. Wait, please be a gold one. Please be a gold one. Please be a gold one. Please be... It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hi, Penny Bay! Hello, hello! I only recently started docking the Switch. I have a cheap wild contro wi wired controllers that I prefer to play on now. Ah. Wait, you're so... Oh, so you're saying... What? Why can't I read, you guys? Spring 15, year one, and already have so much. I mean, you're starting from... <laughs> oh, no! I'm currently hoarding money before I build a coop. I have like 11k. Well, this map starts with a coop. So that's why I have a coop right now. If that helps. If that makes you feel better. Okay, selling all these. Do I have query? Do I have spring crops? I need to bring a bean and a cauliflower. Quality crops, almost. We're almost there. We're almost there. Crafts room. We did the spring. Okay. Construction bundle. Okay, we could do the we could do the We're so close. Wait, where's the animal? Okay, I can bring my eggs. I'm gonna bring my eggs. I'm gonna bring my bean. Oh, cauliflower! Yay! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We can finish we can finish one of them. Okay, bring my eggs. Bringing bean, bring cauliflower. <gasps> Can we bring stone? Do we have enough stone? Oh, <gasps> we do! Yay! Okay, okay. We have a lot of things. As much as I can't wait for the update to come to Switch, I really wish Eric would focus on haunted chocolate here. I appreciate free updates, but can he also take my money for a new game? I feel that. I feel that. I've been li I've been streaming for that long already. What? What did I say? What did I tell y'all? I said I I I said I was gonna not stream for that long and I absolutely will be. You guys, it's the dew. The dew gets to me. I can't resist the dew. Thank you, Kitty, for the follow. Girly Pop loves the dew. <laughs> Wish it was paid DLC. I know. I know. He's such a like honorable dude you know what i mean like i feel like he he truly stands by his values of like no this this is the this is what i feel like the game's worth and i'm not gonna make you guys pay more for it and it's like okay that's fair but like we would <laughs> we would i would have paid so much money for just the like ginger island 1.5 update was that 1.5 it was right the beach island the beach farm the ginger island that was like a whole separate game Hello? I would have paid $40. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Same, CEO. He's such a good guy, truly. Name a better game dev. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I think sometimes, though, maybe, maybe hot take, maybe, 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 maybe. I think sometimes people are too good for their own good. <laughs> like, they, they, I feel like they might stand in, in their values a little too firm. You know, that they get a little too lost in the sauce. Because, uh, sir, this is simply DLC-worthy content. You know what I mean? I get adding free updates. But, like, at that point, it's like, it, you're adding, you're not just updating, you're adding to the game. We can pay for that, buddy. We can do, we'll do it. You know? I need to lock in and get on his level. <laughs> Truly, I just, I... I can't think of anything else like that, but maybe like, I don't know, the Nutcracker? <laughs> ABBA's discography? Like, who else truly locked in like that? Like, I can't. I don't know. This game is amazing. Please let us support you, right? Simmer, thank you. <laughs> Wasn't 1.6 supposed to be small? Yes. Yes. Okay, we did that one. My animal bundle. The Nutcracker? I don't know, bestie. 
<laughs> Thank you, Violet. <laughs> Thank you for coming out of lurk. <laughs> I can't, what, what other projects were that level of locked in? I don't know. Name some. <laughs> My contributions were the Nutcracker and ABBA. <laughs> Just buy nonstop starter chickens for the merch store. Oh my god. <laughs> Nutcracker is so locked in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I lost it at the Nutcracker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. All right. I thought something else opened up from doing that. Or maybe it's the fish. I thought something else opened up. Poo poo. I guess not. All right, let's do... Let's keep chugging along, I suppose. I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna, this time I'm getting, ooh, or should I wait for my backpack upgrade? Oh, I have a green bean for you, Haley. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You and Eddie locked in for the Stardew Let's Play. <laughs> Barbie movies locked in. So true. So true. Princess and the Popper Barbie movie locked in. Absolutely. <laughs> for kick, thank you for the follow. Hmm. Speed grow. Do I need speed grow like that? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Why did I come back here? Oh, green bean. Aw, do I want to give her my only gold green bean? I guess so. Haley, where the hell are you? Come get this green bean. <laughs> just like you, you're just like me. <laughs> bangers! Bangers! Bangers only. High School Musical locked in. What else? Shrek, absolutely locked in. Okay. Haley. God, where is she? Ah, oh, yes, Haley! Take the green bean! Yay! Dang. I was hoping for just a little bit more. Maybe I could sell these at Piers. Princess and the Popper is legit the best. I agree. Marky! Hi, Mark! What's happening? What's happening? Hello? Hello? You guys, why is the camera so off? Is it always like this? It's not always like this. You guys, isn't the camera normally centered for this this cutscene? Or am I tripping? Stardew's having such a good resurgence on Twitch right now. I know, yeah! I love it. <laughs> Hi, Daddy Draws. Welcome, welcome. 12 Dancing Princesses. I don't think I've seen that one. I haven't seen that one. You can't even see him come in, right? Hello? Yeah, you can't see what Pierre's saying. Okay, well, that was fun. Oh, I wonder if it's because the ladies aren't there today. I don't know. I don't know why that would affect it. That's weird. Weird. <gasps> Yay. Okay, I'm going to get my backpack upgrade. Whee! Woo, 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 woo. All right. Now... The yearning, you guys, the yearning that I could do right now, unparalleled. I'm gonna go yearn in the mines like you've never seen. Actually, first, oh, I got no money. Okay, never mind. First, first I'm gonna water my plants. Are you zoomed in? I guess I'm pretty zoomed in. Oh, maybe that's why. I don't know. I feel like it normally doesn't affect the, the cutscenes like that. Weird. Oh well. Didn't mean to hack the tree like that. Hi Linus. Linus, do you like no, I didn't come to ridicule you. Do you like salmonberry? Oh he does. Alright, I still gotta go, gotta get my uh 
my uh, 10 slimes. I haven't done that yet. Hi, Cozy Witch. Hello, hello. I love this game, right, Shadow? Literally, no game does it for me like the doo doo does. The dew of the valley. The doo doo valley of the star. Okay, bud, come here. I've got an achievement to unlock. I've got a quest to complete. In which your death is a requisite. Eh. Eh. Tis for, for beginners. What what were the good we had some good ones last last stream. Are the general ones are always watching YouTube tip videos because those are absolute slappers and help very much with learning kind of like the intro tips. Other than that, just take things at take things at your own pace. <laughs> just take it slow, bestie. Have to head out by Christine. Thanks for being here. What poll? What team are you? Pierre Morris? Come on. Who voted Morris? Stand up. Was that you, CO? <laughs> I was wondering how you walk so fast. It's a mod. Tis a mod. Back from voting beep. Beep. Was that you? Were you team Morris? Did you betray us so? <laughs> Who is the mole? Who's the saboteur? <laughs> yes, I knew it was you, Zio. I knew it was you. <laughs> I just knew. Zio's just a little, a little saboteur. Zio can't help it. I'm Holly, and you convinced me to buy pearler beads. Yes, <laughs> Pierre. I mean, Pierre's like the the better of the word, the the be the best of the the better the the. the Great, the greater, the better of two evil, the greater of two evil, the best of the worst. What? <laughs> I saw someone make a really cool base with perler beads. Whoa! I haven't figured out how to do like 3D perler bead stuff yet. I gotta get into that. I mean, no, I gotta focus on the the. The wee perler bead experience I have right now, and then I could focus on 3D. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Lesser of two evils, thank you, Caitlin. Oh my god, what did I say? <laughs> you need to take You need to take more breaths in your sentences. Huh? It's the funniest thing ever to be told. <laughs> Oh my god. We need a sound redeem. Have you ever had a dream? Wait, wait, you, we do. We do. I'm gonna write that down. And I also need to find a good fart reverb, you guys. I'm so sorry. You guys. Hold on. You guys. I'm really sorry. Um. I never intended to hurt you. In this way. Um. By neglecting to find a really good fart reverb sound. I was neglectful. I've been, I've been irresponsible. I've been pausing the okay, game. Okay. I've been, um, I've been a bad friend, a bad role model. I've, we've lost so much as a community. I will do better, and I will find the best fart reverb sound for this community. Mark my words. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for listening. Okay, I'm writing down fart reverb, and I'm writing down... What was the other one? The drip noises. <laughs> fart uh, reverb. And have you ever had a dream... Anyone else have any requests while we're at it? Have you ever had a... Okay. Vine boom sound? I'm down for that. I'm down for a vine boom. <laughs> Tears or it's not real. 
<laughs> I wanted the fart reverb. That's why it's there. I know. I know, beep. I failed you. Beep, beep, beep. Please, will you ever forgive me? What did I miss? I just got here. We were talking about the sounds we need to add to stream. Fart reverb being one of them. What's happening? I just got back. We're just talking about some some sounds to add to stream to really improve the the professional quality. Yeah. We need something from Shrek. You're right. You're right. We do. We do. We really do. I'm trying to think. What would be good? From Peppa. Oh my God. <laughs> Where's her donkey? That'll do, donkey. That'll do. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> I gotta work on that one. <laughs> Envy, thank you for the follow. Every redeem it anytime Clint comes on stream. Stop! <laughs> yeah, number three, my lord. Number three. That's a good one. That's a good one. Number three. I hope they have that. <laughs> Apology emotional. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Geode. Oh, I don't have the freaking magnet ring. I was like, why am I such a noob at picking things up? I don't have me a ring yet. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's quite enough. Thank you. Hello. I think we can get to 10. I think we could do it. I think we could do it. I think we're ca we're more than capable. I think I think I think we can do it. We've yearned long enough for this moment. <gasps> this sword sucks so bad. Please release me. Please drop a sword. Please drop a sword. Please drop a sword. Oh my gosh, in Alyssa's playthrough, I, I discovered uh yes. I discovered a the monster compendium book. So it makes monsters like drop things more. It was just a book I found in the mines. I think either a monster dropped it or I found it in the um soil. And instead of having to like buy it at the booksellers, you just find it and you can read it. It's so cool! Not the gumdrop button! I literally can't say that'll do without saying it with an accent, right? Same. We are all the same. Truly. Alright, I can finally make a freaking surf surface? Nope. Furnace. Furnace time, baby. For some reason, the phrase Shrek, I'm looking down. <laughs> Shrek, I'm looking down! <laughs> Carved his way into my vocabulary and has been there ever since. I feel like every time I watch Shrek, I'm like, oh, these are the things that are going through my head constantly. Like, these went, these went through my psyche as a child and never left. And like, that's, that's where these phrases come from. You know? Like, they, they feel right at home. Whenever I watch the movie, I'm like, oh, this is just my brain. In a movie. <laughs> Does that make sense? Vincent equals Clint is now confirmed. <laughs> okay, I gotta break all these things open. Check your redemptions. Oh my god, you guys I haven't checked my redemptions this whole damn time. Hello. Thank oh my god, we got a cheers from beep. We got thank god we got to ten. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I got leather boots! Ah! That'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> Literally, so many phrases that make their way into it. I know we're all the same. I love it. The collective memory of the two thousands, I feel like, could never be like that'll never happen again. There's too many forms of media. Like me, the media is too vast these days for there to be that much of a collective conscious, conscience, con conscious, conscious. It's it's too vast now. We were the last generation of of, sh of shared childhood memories, methinks. Okay. 
I did that, I did that. Level 40, craft a furnace. Oh, Robin's Axe, how have I not done that? Man, come on. I'm gonna sleep and then, oh, I probably have to stop streaming soon. <laughs> it's probably about that time. Like when someone says, do you know my brain goes the Muffin Man? <laughs> TikTok sounds? Yeah, true, 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 true. It's now TikTok sounds. But also I feel like that's everybody now. I feel like everybody, it's not even generational anymore. It's just like everybody has the, the same cultural references. Which is interesting. I don't know if like, I don't know if for better or for worse. I think it's kind of nice to have to share cultural re references cross generation. It's kind of cool. Oh man, I didn't water. I got a water. All by myself. Don't wanna be. I don't know, I, guys, I don't know why that one came up for me right now. Couldn't tell ya. Gotta at least get my strawberries. I know, I know, I understand. I see. Ah! Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, 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 oh my Cause this in Shrek. Is that also in Shrek? I thought that was I'm all alone. I mean I know it's that one, but is that also in Shrek? There's no one here beside me. Mm -hmm. Cause I gotta have friends. Okay, I think that was all of them. I think we're good. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I guess similar vibes. That makes sense. Okay, beep. We got a cheers from beep. We got a cheers from Haley. Thank you. Water sip from Chicken Wing. Thank you. And water sip from Jaina. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. We got a bee house. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> she got to have friends. Bye, Vorbo. Thank you for being here. How do you keep your energy fighting? I'm cheating. I'm cheating so hard. I'm cheating really, really, real bad, real good, real lots of cheating. I'm rich. You're right. Look at that. That's crazy. I can get so many seeds, you guys. Like so many. Shania Twain, you're still the one popped in my head today. It's been stuck. I love that's such a banger. All right, you guys. What time is it? What's my up time? What's my up time? Okay, it's time. If I start another one, we're gonna be on here. If I start another one, we will not. What is this? What is this? What is that? What is this? <laughs> what is that? What is that? I've never seen this in my life. I've never seen this. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> what? Wait, you guys, watch, 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 watch. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've seen it before? I've never seen this. I've never in my life got a club. Poop stick, <laughs> not a poop stick. <laughs> That's amazing. That's simply phenomenal. Okay. <laughs> We're leaving because I will do five more days if I do, if I, I can't, I can't. Exit to title and I have to sleepy pie because oh. yesterday I was commercialing. This is me convincing myself. This is not me explaining to you guys. I'm like, I'm like telling myself this is why I have to go rest. <laughs> it's time to kill the slimes. Oh, it's to kill the slimes. Yeah. Thank you for the company. Thank you, weekend minis. I'm off to feed the fam. Everyone have a chocolate filled weekend. I love that. Bye, weekend minis. Rest up, streamer. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Illy streaming. Oh, yay. Sound clip. What is that? All right, y'all. Illy, Momo, and Alyssa are all on. Oh, my goodness. Momo's playing Baldur's Gate. Illy's playing this. Illy's playing The Sims? I've never seen Illy play The Sims. Let's raid Illy. Let's raid Illy. I love a little Sims moment. Okay. I love a little Sims moment. 
All right, my YouTube peeps, Jenny, thank you for being here. So y'all, everybody, thank you for being here over on YouTube. I love you guys so much. Over on Twitch, we're going to go raid Ely and watch some Sims. And I will see you Sunday for some more Stardew. Woo, 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 woo. We're going to do um, our very aesthetic multiplayer Stardew playthrough that we've been grinding in. And we're so far now. We're so far. We'll probably grind some more tonight. I'm going to bully Alyssa to see if Alyssa will grind, do some grinding tonight. Okay. <laughs> I love y'all. This is the raid message. The cozy raid without the bears is if you're not subbed. The cozy raid with the bears is if you are subbed. All right, friends. I will see you on Sunday. Let's go. Let's go. See you later. Love you. See you Sunday. Bye.